Welcome to the Mechanical Literacy Project. I'm Jack Diaz and I created this channel to explore tools, fasteners, and lots of interesting things mechanical. It's a family friendly channel for everyone from the novice home DIYer to professionals. I was a maintenance mechanic for 10 years and previously I was in printing for over 30 years. Okay, I don't know it all, so I'll be learning a lot of things along with you guys. I have a couple of videos in the editing phase that I would really want to put out before this one, but uh, I'm going to start with this one just because I need to get something out there to you guys and get things rolling. I live in a small ranchette in the central California Valley, and there's always something that needs to get done around the place. And today, I'm going to be putting a trailer hitch on my lawn tractor so I can tow around my uh, utility trailers. Let's get started. Well, so far so good. Okay, today I'm going to be putting a trailer hitch uh, mount on the back of my lawn tractor. This is an Extreme Max Products. It's called a three-way lawn garden tractor hitch assembly. The assembly instructions are here. Uh, it seems to be pretty good quality. They got some uh, good thick metal. The welds look pretty decent. Um, anyway, let's get to it. We're going to put it on the back of this old beast and I'll be able to haul my uh, utility trailers around the property here. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat was they're giving the, uh, the, the bolts like this part number 10 here. It says that it is a 5 8 by 11 carriage bolt. Well, it is a carriage bolt, but looking at the head of it, Let's see if we can see that very well. It says 8.8. .8, and that throws up a big red flag that that is not a 5 8 That is a metric. Uh, an 8.8 8 .8 grade is similar to a grade 5 uh, in the uh, English or the American standards. So I'm looking at the rest of these. And yeah, these are all 8.8. .8. So we got a lot of metric nuts and bolts here. Grade 5, that's pretty decent. Hopefully uh, their grade 5, their quality control uh, lives up to uh, its claims here. So let's get to it. It seems pretty simple. Got three parts. I'm going to have to drill some holes, so I'll be back in two seconds to go get my drill. Okay, so I have all the parts out here ready to go. First thing they want us to do is to uh, put the... Uh, weld fitment on the uh, trailer hitch of the uh, lawn tractor. It's interesting they have an extra washer here, an extra large washer to go over the square end of the uh, carriage bolt. So we're going to drop that in first. Okay, and get that in. I'm going to drop it down through the plate here. We got a large flat washer. And their uh, nylock nut, and we're just going to put that on real loose, so that way we can move things around and adjust. Now I'm looking at the back of this. They give you two options. They have a wide plate. And you can see that there's a wide plate and a narrow plate. Uh, this is for uh, guys that have the bagger attachment for their mower. They uh, usually use a narrow plate, from what I've read online. The wide plate though, looking at it, where it's going to line up, it's not going to line up with those holes exactly. So I'm going to uh, use the narrow plate here. So our next uh, part here is uh, get some nuts or some bolts and some nuts in here. So I'm going to get the washer on there. Throw the bolt in. And another washer on the back side. If they don't have enough washers, well, I got plenty in the in the shop there. I can go in and grab some. Yeah, it doesn't look like they gave me enough for the larger larger washers. No. Nope. So I'll be back. Okay, in just I'm a back. Second. I went ahead and assembled this off camera. So everything's loose on here. Got this all loose. Um, I'm going to mark some holes here and uh, drill some holes. So I'm back just here back and, and get the snut on. 
snug it down a little bit so it doesn't slop around. And I'm going to drill some holes. Okay, this uh, nut it takes a 15 16 wrench. I got a feeling that the bottom plate on my uh, tractor got bent a little bit because I noticed as I get everything snugged up to the back here, it doesn't sit quite flat at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, it's not quite flat. But I'm sure once everything's in place, it's going to uh, straighten everything out and be square. Okay, I'm going to shut you off. I'll be right back. I have the holes drilled. Um, I got the uh, back nuts on. They're pretty hard to get on on these bolts. You got to reach through the top. It's kind of like reaching into your right front pocket with your left hand, but it can be done. The instructions say that the main bolt here and these two bolts and these two bolts are good enough, but they do suggest drilling and putting bolts in here also for. Uh, added security, added stiffness, whatever. I'll, when I'm done with this whole thing, I'll show you how it all goes together and then we'll go test it out with one of my utility trailers. Okay, so I got it all bolted up. I went ahead and uh, drilled out these uh, side holes here. Last thing to put in, I got a two inch ball. I got it from uh, one of the guys I know out at the flea market. It takes a smaller shaft, so remember that there's two size uh, shafts on these available uh, one for the class one and two hitches and one for the class three on up this is a class uh, two i guess i don't know what it says on the side here yeah it's rated for 3500 pounds which is a lot less than what i'm going to be pulling i have a couple of small utility trailers out here on my property and that's what this is going to be used for and get this thing snugged up and later on I'll uh, be taking it out, out in the field there and uh, hooking up one of my utility trailers and showing you how well it works. Hopefully it works as good as uh, they claim. Okay, and it looks like the nut itself kind of locks into the underside of the hitch so what I'll do later is I'll probably put a pipe wrench on the base of this and uh, tighten it down with that. Uh, let's see if it gives you any... No, it doesn't say anything about putting a ball on it. So that's uh, that's up to me. I guess they don't want to have any liability if something comes loose. The three-way hitch now, it uh, has a trailer hitch ball and then it has a, two flat plates. This is the same height as... Uh, the factory on my uh, lawn tractor for towing around uh, garden carts. I got three different garden carts that I've built so I can use either use this one or this one. Plus my garden cart also one of them has a ball so that'll be handy. Okay and that's it and we'll uh, be back in just a second and we'll show you how it tows things around. Okay so I have the uh, lawn tractor out here with the trailer and we're going to see what happens here. It doesn't look like I'm going to have enough clearance at the top. Yeah, oh, I got this a little bit loose still. I had it loose earlier for something. I was checking. Okay. So what's got a feeling yeah we got a little interference here so I can't get everything quite the way I need it it's not going to go down because the latch is pushing the thing that engages the hitch ball in down so I can't lower it down all the way 
Let's try something real quick here since I had this loose. See if I can put it on this other hole here. And see if that'll do the job. And if not, well, I may have to resort to some drastic measures here. No, it's not going to fit. Come on. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay. So back to plan C now. Get this thing together. Time for a little angle grind to work, I believe. I'm going to have to notch the back of the fender out just enough to clear the, uh, the lever on the latch. I kind of don't like it, but hey, this is a freebie. This lawn tractor was a freebie, and it's just for work. It's not going for any shows or nothing, so yeah, we'll just cut it out of there. One thing you've got to always watch out for when you're doing hot work, like using an angle grinder like I'm going to do, and especially... Where I'm at around here, we have a lot of dry grass. You can probably see that in the background. So I got the hose out. I'm going to uh, hose this place down a little bit. I'm going to get the angle grinder and cut that out. And then we'll uh, be right back. Okay, you can see where I have the notch cut out here. Hopefully I cut up enough. And set this on there. Ooh, look at that. It goes right, right where I need it. I can... Uh, the hitch down. I got a hose right over here by the way in case I did catch any grass on fire I was right on top of it but I already had everything watered down look at that and we're on oh boy I'm gonna get the wires up off the ground here get the safety chains out of the way always make sure you latch it um, so you get your safety pin in there and we're going to take this thing for a ride and see how see how it works hope you guys have got some value out of this video um, if you did please press the like button I sure appreciate it okay, I have my lawn tractor hooked up and this is the trailer that I'm towing it's a uh, we had a four and a half by six and a half foot uh, box trailer. I believe it was made in the 50s. And from what it looks like, it was maybe made from plans from an old popular mechanics uh, plans or something. They used to do some really cool uh, stuff in those old magazines. Uh, anyway, whoever built this, they did a really nice job back then. I mean, the, the welds and the cutting, the, the step plates, you know. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, even approach the workmanship that they've done in this, and uh, I just took and I stripped it down, put new sides on it, new uh, wheel bearings, new tires, new lights, so I can get it on the road, but the reason for the lawn tractor hitch is so I can uh, move it around my property. So we're going to take off in this thing and see what All right, so here we go. So far, so good. Okay. Something I realized that I can't turn too tight. Uh, I got a little interference with the wheels. So, I guess there's a little learning curve to this thing. Okay, I've had that hitch on the tractor, the lawn tractor, for about uh, a day and a half now. 
run it around the property, uh, towing a trailer, and I tell you what, it works pretty good. It's a product that I could highly recommend. Um, I've seen other versions of this uh, type of hitch. I've seen some that are made out of pop metal or aluminum. Uh, this one is steel. I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some uh, information that was useful. And uh, if so, just hit, hit the like button. And uh, we'll see you again around the next video.